I'm Nancy Verling. I'm Secretary and Treasurer of the National Fox Hunters Association. I'm from Virginia. I'm Lonnie Ward, and I'm the uh, president of the National Fox Hunters Association. I'm from Dapper City, North Carolina. Alfred Hensley from Genoa, West Virginia. I'm participating in the National Fox Hunters Field Trial. Well, we got people here from many, uh, not good many states. Do you know exactly how many? I think there's 19. 19 states. And Canada. We have had uh, a thousand. Uh, we probably have, what, 700 this year, maybe? Yeah. Hunters and, and right. participants. Probably have been. We, we come to Grenada because of the uh, hunting grounds. Uh, we're not on major roads. Usually we have the water surround us here on three sides. That helps a lot. I'm a fox chaser and I love it. It's just one of the sports that I've done since I was a kid. And uh, I've followed it all my life and it's just a sport that I love. The, the purpose of it mostly is to uh, evaluate the hounds, to try to pick the best hound, the better the breeding programs of the hounds, so, and uh, they are scored on different categories, hunting, trailing, and uh, running this game. Uh, yes, we have that. judges. We have uh, uh, judges out, and they're the ones that are doing the judging. We don't have any interference with the hounds until after the hunt is caught, which is five hours today. The hounds are numbered, and, and the judges are on their stands, and as they, as the hounds come by, they they uh, usually have a tape recorder, and they'll name the numbers, and then they, they take those numbers into the judges' room. And they score and them on hunting, or trailing, or running. Speed and drive. Speed and drive, and that's where they score them, you know, first, second, third, fourth, whatever. It's not the thing about catching the game, it's chasing it. We don't, uh, we don't allow guns. If anyone's caught with a gun, they are asked to leave. Right. Uh, it's, it's strictly, and uh, it probably should be named the National Fox Chasers Association instead of the Hunters, because we do not like a kill. Uh, occasionally a dog may catch a, a, a fox, but we don't want that to happen because a, a dead fox is no good to us. We, uh, we like to uh, have a good chase, and we have to have the fox for a chase. I have my own fox enclosure, a running preserve in West Virginia, and I, I train my dogs in the running preserve. Through our registration of our dogs, you register your dog with a gold seal on it, and it has, he's, uh, this is called the National Fox Hunter Association. He's a national field champion. And, you know, it's considered a champion and makes him more valuable to, okay. to a lot of people. It don't necessarily make him the best hound, but he's the best on that day. Oh, yeah, that we advertise our dogs at Stud in the Chase Magazine, Chase Publishing Company over the Hunter's Horn. And uh, if he's a champion, he, everybody feels he's worthy of being advertised. Right. And raising puppies from and How long have you guys been coming to Grenada for this? This is our 20th year. Oh, I go to Grenada and enjoy the uh, blooming onion at Jake and Rips. <laughs> and we, we go to Grenada quite often and buy our gas and uh, stay in motels and so on. Uh, we spend a lot of time in Grenada. <laughs>